Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're just going to take a quick look at my daily carry pocket knife. It is the Cold Steel Micro Recon 1. Uh, the one you see on the table right here that's wearing the little mini tactical lanyard. I have been carrying this for the past oh, two plus years now. Uh, I've had both of these for the same amount of time, but I just prefer to carry this one, which is the spear point. And it also comes in Tanto. Pretty cool. Um, basically, blade length on these are, I believe, either two inch or just sub two inch uh, blade lengths, uh, which I look at these for a POU. These are perfect for replacement of your box cutters. And for the blade lengths they are, that's pretty much what they I've been using them for is uh, cutting up boxes and opening them uh, for the past couple of years and you can see <clears throat> how well this has worn for the past couple of years the black coating here it hasn't really uh, come off all that much and I have uh, abused this quite a bit and these are pretty uh, perfect for you know like I said opening uh, packages and any other type of small cutting uh, tasks um, I believe these are OS 8 steel per, uh, Good enough for what it is. Uh, you can see, and it holds an edge for what it uh, for what it is. Uh, there is some minor chipping here, uh, right around this area. Uh, but honestly, um, I've been using this uh, for the past two years. I haven't uh, reprofiled it or sharpened it in any way. So um, pretty cool for uh, holding it up for that long without having to be resharpened. Uh, let's see. Uh, OS 8 steel, uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty good for what it is. Uh, it keeps the cost down. Uh, it's relatively corrosion resistant for what it is. I mean, I've had it in my pockets, uh, you know, uh, I've sweated on them and everything for the past two years and there's really no pitting or any type of rusting that I can uh, observe. <clears throat> uh, I do have kind of, um, I, I guess you could call this a competitive uh, uh, option. Uh, this is the spider co i believe is the ladybug kind of cool uh, let's see if i can deploy it eh, it's okay deployment um this is using vg10 uh steel uh the h1 and this is supposedly really high corrosion resistant which is cool but you know if you really don't need that corrosion resistant uh this steel is a little bit more expensive and um one downfall i see with this steel is that it just doesn't hold the edge as well as you can see here and i haven't really used this as nearly as much as i have used um uh this micro recon and this one has way more chipping on on the edge if i can just get this to focus let's see there we go you can see right there so you know say what you want about os8 steel uh i'm not i'm no steel expert but at least uh from what i've gathered uh from my use for in the past two years and abuse on these two blades or these three blades uh i just found that the os8 has held up a little bit better in cutting uh, let's see it is february uh, it is february uh, 2015 and currently right now you can find these on most uh, online stores including amazon for roughly around 20 dollars 21 20 uh anywhere from 19 to 21 dollars uh, on amazon pretty cool uh very affordable and recently i believe in the past year they've also released this version or a couple versions like this I can get this out they've released it in other colors so i've gotten this high vis orange i think it's pretty cool especially with uh, the contrast to the black they are a little bit more expensive these are just um i think these uh run somewhere around 25 to up to 30 dollars uh just a few bucks more but i think for the cool colors eh, it's pretty nice um very cool and let's just check out of the box this is brand new i just bought it uh about a couple of weeks ago let's check on the blade centering decent enough not too bad uh, for basically what this is, is uh, fiber reinforced nylon or FRN material. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, I believe uh, Colseal called this uh, Fox, um, what do you call it, G10, uh, because it's not really G10, it's just fake G10, it's molded to feel like it. But good enough for what it is, it, uh, I find that I'm able to lock into this pattern pretty well and get a pretty good hold on it. And honestly, these are kind of fun to own too, just because these are little micro knives and you can see how I can pretty much deploy them like a little mini swish blade. They come out very fast if you uh, get used to the deployment. And um, when I first got them, I find them flying off my hand because they're so tiny because I couldn't get a good purchase on them. But once I figured out how to lock lock it in like this. I put a, my middle finger right about here and push up on the thumb set. Boom. They come out really fast. Very cool. Lots of fun. <clears throat> now they come with this little split ring here. Uh, I pretty much just toss it away. I don't like have, I'm not going to put this on my key ring, uh, my keychain. I have enough keys as is and other things uh, to bulk up my uh, keychain. I don't need to add more. <laughs> this is just more bulk for the uh, for my keys, and I just I already find it difficult to carry my keys in my pocket. I don't need to add another one, so I just leave it nice and flat like this. Uh, I don't put it on the ring, and I um, just carry it in a separate pocket. So uh, very tiny, very um, lightweight, comfortable carry. Let me just throw this on the scale real quick, so you have an idea what we're looking at. So here's the one that I've been carrying uh, for uh, with this little mini tactical lanyard that I cr made for it. 1.2 ounces. I mean, that's pretty much nothing. <laughs> 1.2 ounces uh, for that. And let's see if there's a difference in the Tanto. Uh, 1.1 ounces, maybe the difference is the little... Um, Mini, mini tactical anger I have for it. Let's just throw on the, and that pretty much, oh, there you go. Uh, that little split ring accounted for the difference. So basically you're looking at 1.1, 1.2 ounce carry, depending on if you're gonna have, you know, uh, either have the split ring on it, or if you're gonna, you know, put something similar like this, a little mini tactical lanyard on it. Very cool, very lightweight. Uh, and I don't know if I covered the cost uh, before, but again, uh, these are very, oh, let me get this one out of the way. Uh, very affordable uh, daily carries. I mean, um, the black version, again, uh, running around $20, uh, perfect. And uh, if you like the color version, I believe they have a purple, um, this high-vis orange, and also a high-vis green. So there you have it, uh, my mini tactical um, box cutter daily carry. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.